This video will fill you with all the details that are required for you to be a part of an agile software development team. By the end of it, you will learn what Scrum is, what a sprint is, the various roles within a Scrum team, and also the various ceremonies or uh, meetings that we have as a part of every sprint. Scrum is a software development and management model that follows the iterative and incremental approach. The advantages of iterative and incremental approaches, as you have learned from the software development lifecycle video, is we can change the requirements at any point in time and we get the feedback from the customer as we take a few requirements at a point in time and do the development, do the testing for them and deliver it to the customer on, in short periods. We get the feedback from the customer and if we have to change something, it's easy to change. Unlike the waterfall model where we have to wait all the, all the way towards the end and then it's difficult to change anything if the customer doesn't like it or if the industry is moving towards something else, a different technology or framework altogether. In Scrum, there are different phases that we follow. The first phase is planning and even before that the management and the directors, they all sit together and decide on the strategy, planning, etc. Which we don't care as developers or as a yes, we do care. But here what I have listed out is the main phase which is the development, build and deploy or the development phase of a Scrum life cycle which we do regularly. It's called a sprint. A sprint is nothing but a time boxed development effort. In the Scrum world, a sprint can be of one week, two weeks or four weeks. So four weeks is the maximum. I have seen team teams which have used two weeks, three weeks and four weeks. I haven't seen a team which has used one week which is too short. So every sprint, at the start of every sprint, we have a product backlog which is already there. Even before we start sprinting, we have a product backlog which the product owner or a business analyst, usually it's called product owner, the role of it, that guy or that girl is going to come up with this product backlog. They are the ones who face the customers and for us, the product owner is like the customer for the developers and for the quality analysts or the testers. The product owner is like the customer. They have the product backlog. From the product backlog, for each sprint, we are going to pull in a few requirements. We typically call them stories in the uh, Scrum world. A story is nothing but a testable unit of work. So we pull in a few requirements into the sprint backlog from the product backlog that is done at the start of every sprint where we have a planning meeting where the entire team sits with the product owner along with the scrum master and then we do the planning session wherein uh, we assign work. It's more nobody assigns work here as a team. We are going to claim what we are going to work on. Sometimes if the same team is quiet, the scrum master can go ahead and assign the work for each of the team members. So the testers and developers get the work, what they are going to do in a particular sprint. Once the planning is done, every day we meet up once and we do a stand up. We literally stand up and we give each of our statuses. So this meeting, the stand up meeting has, has everybody coming in and telling what they have done on that day and what they are going to work the next day. And at the end of the sprint, we have a review and demo session. So this is important because whatever stories you would have worked on, the QA should uh, test them. And then the product owner in this review and demo meeting will have to approve them based on something called a DOD. So during the sprint, each of the requirement will go through the following phases. In, dev, in development, ready for QA. So once the development is done, we move it to ready for QA. Then it goes into in QA, the tester, when he is ready, he will pull in the story or the requirement, he will test it. Then once it is tested, he will move it to done, following the definition of done. So for it to be moved to done, our product owner, not only the QA, the product owner should also accept that that particular feature, not only works as a feature, but also it follows the definition of done. I'm going to cover the details of each of these in future sessions. Definition of done at a high level has all the criteria that we should follow. Like it should have 85% of test coverage. It should have 90% of automation, etc. Usually those are defined by the management. And in that review slash demo, the product owner is like our customer wherein we we'll go and showcase all the work we have done in that sprint. If she agrees that the stories or the requirements we have, we have done are good, as per the DOD, that will be moved to done state. If we take two stories in a sprint, 
both the stories should be finished in order for that sprint to be successful otherwise we uh, call it a failed sprint it's okay to have two or three failed sprints initially when we kick off projects but it's not a good thing if it continues there is definitely something wrong we'll have to see uh, we have to go back and analyze what went wrong typically we do that in a retrospective meeting the review and demo meetings are followed by a retrospective meeting where we sit as a team the management is out of it and the product owner is also out of it we sit with our scrum master so the scrum master is the key here to who who is responsible for taking care of all these meetings and much more along with that in each stand up when we give our status if there is any impediment with another team member or with a completely different team for work for completing the task that i'm currently working on a scrum master is responsible for getting rid of that impediment or impediment or roadblock and makes things smoother for us so in the retrospective meeting every team member gets a chance to tell the scrum master or to fill in an excel sheet or any other tool with what went well that sprint what didn't go well and the insights for future that's the key in agile world or the scrum world wherein we can keep improving as the product progresses from what, uh, from the mistakes we have done in the previous sprints etc so and this cycle this entire sprint cycle goes on and on so once we are done with one sprint we'll come back do the planning again go into development mode all these phases like in dev ready for qa etc will be executed then at the end of the sprint we'll once again have review slash demo slash retrospective so depending on the product size we can have these cycles going for on for 6 months 9 months etc and you already know the roles the product owner is responsible for coming up with the product requirements they also have grooming sessions the product owner typically schedules a grooming session to make sure the requirements in the product backlog are groomed once in a while so that we can groom and prioritize them so when we do sprint planning we will have sufficient stories that can be pulled from the product backlog into a sprint backlog and everybody is on the same page when it comes to requirements that's done in the grooming sessions scrum master as i already said is key uh, key is a key role who who makes sure that the dev team is comfortable the qa team is comfortable the stories or the requirements are being done in time and the sprint is going on well the standard meetings and the other ceremonies of the meetings are going on well etc in a future session i'm going to cover a few phases before sprinting and few phases after at the end of all the sprints but for now to quickly summarize Scrum is a agile software development model, and uh, it follows the agile. It follows the iterative and incremental approach. Here are the key areas or the key uh, life cycle phases of every sprint, wherein we do a planning session at the beginning. Then on each day, assist the planning session is assisted by the product owner as well as the scrum master, and the entire development team and the QA team is there. And as the sprint progresses, a sprint is a time boxed dev effort. A sprint could be one week, two week, three week, or four week long. Once we start the sprint, every day we meet for a stand up, wherein every developer, every QA, every tester will give their status of what they have done that day and what they'll be doing the next day. And if there are any impediments, they bring them up to the team, and the scrum master is responsible for helping the team out to get rid of those impediments and make the flow smoother. At the end of each sprint. we'll do a demo to the product owner once he or he accepts the stories or the requirements then only they can be moved to the done phase before we take more stories and in the retrospective meeting we are going to share what went well what didn't go well any insights for the future okay. in a future session we'll be learning more about scrum and agile methodologies